long life to you, Thane. Honor to you, my Thane. Lead the way. Right behind you. All right, what is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Anything else? Blessings of the Eight Divines upon you. How may I help? You look troubled. Have you come seeking guidance? Feel free to take a seat or pray at the shrines. We appreciate worship in all its forms. It's the peace treaty that ended the war with the elves of the Almeri Dominion. The Dominion recognized the heresy of proclaiming Talos a god. Talos was a great man and a great emperor, but that does not make him a god. No matter how much the Stormcloaks may wish it were so. The strong and honorable always carry the blessing of the Eight. How do you feel? I think you might be sick. Blessings to you. The Divines are listening. The Divines saved me from the streets, and they can save you from your trials as well. May the Divines guide and keep you. Remind us of our place when we forget.
Yes? Your rewards in life will match the strength of your faith. Waiting. You have vanquished a great evil from Skyrim. You have saved this land and our very souls. I'm telling Ulfric's planning an attack on Whiterun. He'd be insane to try. He doesn't have the men. That's not what my scouts report, sir. Every day more join his cause. Riften, Dawnstar, and Winterhold support him. It's not a cause. It's a rebellion. Call it whatever you like, General. The man's going to try to take Whiterun. Jarl Balgruff. Balgruf refuses the Legion's right to garrison troops in his city. On the other hand, he also refuses to acknowledge Ulfric's claim. Well, if he wants to stand outside the protection of the Empire, fine. Let Ulfric pillage his city. General. You people and your damn Jarls. Sir, you can't force a Nord to accept help he hasn't asked for. If Ulfric's making a move for Whiterun, then we need to be there to stop him. Draft another letter with the usual. But the rebels like to forget is time to that the Empire's what's keeping the Dominion out of Skyrim. Plans. Embellish if you have to. We'll let it seem like it's his idea. Yes, sir. You Nords and your bloody sense of honor. Sir. Speak with Legate Ricca. She will determine if you are Legion material. Hjalmarch is an important buffer zone between the rebel forces and the capital. Ulfric will try to break through at some point. Don't think you can barter with me like one of those damned shopkeepers. How can I help a brother North? What is it? I'm a little busy at the moment. I've got all sorts of errands to run. He says I won't see Rogvir anymore, but he wouldn't tell me why not. My papa says I'm gregarious, just like him. He says it means smart, but my brother says he's wrong. You and me, we're the only people around who aren't complete fools. Hi there. You look a bit... peaked. You sure you shouldn't be home in bed?
true, I may look the part of dashing swordsman, but I prefer the art of wit to that of warfare. I'm right behind you. All right, what is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Anything else? Feel free to make requests. There's nothing like a good song to lift the spirit and... Sure. What can I do for you? Certainly. It's a fine tune and a good request. I'll just be here then. And if out winds eternal, then eternity is done. For his story is over, and the dragons are gone. We heading out? As you will, my Thane. I will protect you with my life. Look a bit. What's the hurry? vanquished a great evil from Skyrim. You have saved this land and our very Oh, what delight. And Oh, let me just drop everything to help. Clothes and raiment for the discerning customer.
Finally. You were there for Rogvir's execution. Thank you for helping my aunt earlier. I'll see you around. Hello, I'm... Welcome to the center of the world. Or at least my brother Eriker's world. Yes, my older brother. And the person you probably want to be speaking to right now. But really, since Torig's death, Falk Firebeard wields the true power of the Jarl's court. My brother is nothing more than a pompous little fop. I hope your parents are proud of you. They have a lot of reason to be. Take a look. We'll speak Forget again later. Next time you need herbs and potions. How do you feel? Firin said you got here just before the execution. Must take a look. Come back to bits and pieces anytime. Huh. You know, you've got a certain fire in your eyes. Just like my beer and... Please, feel free to look around. We've got a bit of everything.
What is it? Ulrich won't give us a straight answer. He's a true Nord. He'll come around. Don't be so sure of that. We've intercepted couriers from Solitude. The Empire is putting a great deal of pressure on White Run. I feel so helpless out here. The people of Riften depended on me, and I failed them. She knows that. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Good journey to you. You think I need to send Borgroth a stronger message? If by message you mean shoving a sword through his gullet. Taking his city and leaving him in disgrace would make a more powerful statement, don't you think? So we're ready to start this war in earnest, then? Soon. I still say you should take them all out like you did dead King Torig. Torig was merely a message to the other Yarls. Whoever we replace them with will need the support of our armies. We're ready when you are. Things hinge on White Run. If we can take the city without bloodshed, all the better. But if not... The people are behind you. Many, I fear, still need convincing. Then let them die with their false kings. We've been soldiers a long time. We know the price of freedom. But people are still weighing things in their hearts. What's left of Skyrim to wager? They have families to think of. How many of their sons and daughters follow your banner? We are their families. Well put, friend. Tell me, Galmar, why do you fight for me? I'd follow you into the depths of oblivion. You know that. Yes, but why do you fight? If not for me, what then? I'll die before elves dictate the fates of men. Are we not one in... I fight for the men I've held in my arms, dying on foreign soil. I fight for their wives and children whose names I heard whispered in their last breath. I fight for we few who did come home, only to find our country full of strangers wearing familiar faces. I fight for my people, impoverished to pay the debts of an empire too weak to rule them, yet brands them criminals for wanting to rule themselves. I fight so that all the fighting I've already done hasn't been for nothing. I because I must. Your words give voice to what we all feel, Ulfric. And that's why you will be High King. But the day will, Renaf, will be the day when soldiers like us are no longer needed. I will gladly retire from the world. Were such a day to dawn. Aye. But in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. Speak with Galmar. He'll size you up and see where we can best use your talents. Not entirely true, though not entirely false either. Any Nord can learn the way of the voice by studying with the Greybeards, given enough ambition and dedication. By shouting Torg to the ground proved he had neither. However, it was my sword piercing his heart that killed him. I'm not sure why Talius is wasting his time trying to take Winterhold from us. But if he wants to throw his men away, I'll gladly accept that gift. We're fighting because we're done bleeding for an empire that won't bleed for us. Untold numbers of Nords die defending the empire against the Dominion. And for what? Skyrim being sold to the Thalmor so the Emperor could keep his throne. We're fighting because our own Yarls, once strong, wise men, have become fearful and blind to the people's suffering. We're fighting because Skyrim needs heroes, and there's no one else but us. I killed Torrid to prove our wretched condition. 
How is the High King supposed to be the defender of Skyrim if he can't even defend himself? Indeed, Elisif has become Yarl of Solitude. Historically and conveniently home of the High King, backed by Imperial interests. But the Moot has not yet met the name of High Queen. And they won't. Not as long as I have any say in it. There hasn't been a true High King in Skyrim for generations. For too long, he's been hand-picked by the Emperor and given emphatic nods by milk-drinking Jarls addicted to Imperial coin. It's time we had a real High King, one of our own making. My father, the Great Bear of Eastmarch, died during my imprisonment after the Markarth incident. I, his only son, forced to deliver his eulogy by a letter I had smuggled out of prison. Such is the love of Titus Mead for his subjects. When finally set free, I returned to Windhelm and was greeted by a city in mourning. At one with my own grief and anger. Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. Hmm. Helgen, huh? Yolfric told us quite the story. If you made it through all that, you're likely worth something to me. Now, but first, tell me. Why does a foreigner want to fight for Skyrim? Fair enough. But are you willing to die for your home? All right. But before I can put you to use, I need to know how much you can take. I have a little test for you. the kind men use to measure themselves. I'm sending you to Serpentstone Island. If you survive, you pass. If you die, well, you weren't going to be much use to me anyway. It's where men have tested their metal for ages. It's a strange rock formation built by the ancients. Something about that place attracts the ice wraiths. You kill an ice wraith out there, and I'll have all the proof I need about you. At the end of the day, every warrior is alone. Before you can stand next to your shield, brother, you need to be able to stand on your own. We'll see about that, won't we? Aye, but in the meantime, we have a war to plan. Whatever you've heard I can do is probably true. Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter.
Tell me again why we're wasting time and dwindling resources chasing a legend. We don't even know it exists. The Jarls are upset. They don't all support you. Damn the Jarls. They demand the moot. And damn Being the in exile is the most humiliating thing I've experienced in my life. Woman on the throne? She'll hand Skyrim over to the elves on a silver plate. All the more reason, then. The crown would legitimize your claim. You have something to say, a dog? Something on your mind? No, but this one. If it even exists. It exists, and it will be the symbol of the righteousness of our cause. Think about it. The jagged crown I see is it dead. Back to a time before Jarls and Moots. Back to the time when the king was a king because his enemies fell before him and his people rose because they loved him. Skyrim needs that king. You will be that king, Ulfric. You must be. You're certain you found it? When have I ever been false with you? Fine. I'll send the unblooded here with you. Fancy a crawl through a moldering dungeon to see if you can't stir up Garmar's jagged crown. It will be there. You see, you're alive. I owe Ulfric a drink. I have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Before you're one of us, you must swear fealty to Jarl Ulfric Stormcloak future High King of Skyrim. You must also pledge unswerving loyalty to your fellow Stormcloaks, to Skyrim, and to her people. You can stick a sword through an Imperial any day you want, but that doesn't make you a Stormcloak. We're not just fighting Imperials. We're fighting to restore Skyrim to her glory and give her the King she deserves. That's the spirit. By swearing this oath, you become one of us. A hero of the people. A true son of Skyrim. A Stormcloak. Repeat after me. I do swear my blood and honor to the service of Ulfric Stormcloak. Jarl of Vindhelm and true High King of Skyrim. As Talos is my witness, may this oath bind me to death and beyond. Even to my lord, as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloaks, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Now you're one of us, which means you get to tag along on a little trip with me. Oh. And here, you're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Reasons. Since when does a man need a reason to protect his family, to defend his homeland? It's the damn Outlanders and Empire that need the reasons. I oppose tyranny. I oppose those who tell me how to live, what to think, and what to believe. I am a man. Skyrim is man's homeland. That is a fact. A fact I'm proud of. There is no shame in that. Read your history. Enough talk. There's much to... Hmm. I have found the final resting place of the Jagged Crown. Can you believe it? Well, I'm almost certain. We're headed to Corvanjoon, but if old King Borgus is indeed buried there, we're bound to run into trouble of some kind. Your fellow Stormcloaks are already assembling outside the tomb. I'll meet you there as soon as I'm finished up here. Have you not heard that ancient verse? 
Maw unleashing razor snow. Of dragons from the blue brought down. Birth the walking winter's woe. The high king in his jagged crown. Going way back to King Harald's time, or even before, the high king always wore the jagged crown. It was the symbol of his might and power. The crown is made from the bones and teeth of ancient dragons, and it is said to contain a portion of the power of every king who has worn it. True or not, who would dare deny Ulfric's claim when the legendary jagged crown sits upon his brow? It's true. The location of the crown was lost with King Borgas after the Great Hunt killed him while he was off on his damned Alessian campaigns. But legend holds, his body was secretly returned to Skyrim and buried with the crown, its exact whereabouts lost in the following wars of succession. Through sources that shall remain nameless, I've tracked down what I believe to be the final resting place of King Borgas. Corvanjun. If the crown exists, it will be there. First, we'll kick the Thalmor and their bloody Imperial puppets out of the country. Then, we will rebuild Skyrim into the land she once was. When we are done with that, we will take our army to the Dominion and show those pointy-eared bastards not every man is fit to be their slave. Don't wait around for me. I bet I'll beat you to Corvanjun even though you start first. Get yourself kitted out with what you need. Welcome to the fight, brother. I'm right behind you. You lead. I'll follow. What? Get over with the rest of the men at Corvanjun. The Stormcloaks have crossed the land. Corvanjun. Vanquished a great evil from Skyrim. You have saved this land and our very souls. I hey, watch.
still here. All right, what is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Can't do that, sorry. Okay, got it. Can't do that, sorry. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Anything else? Hail, Ilfil. Hail, Galmar. What's the situation? Cold as the inside of an ice wraith. That and some Imperials are camped out around the entrance, staying nice and warm around their fires. Imperials? Well, if they're keeping themselves comfortable, let's slip in and send them to their graves that way. <laughs> What's the Legion doing here? Damn Imperial spies! Well, should be fun for us at least. They don't seem to know we're here yet. Ready to spill some Imperial blood for Skyrim? That's what I like to hear. Listen up. Those Imperials aren't here by coincidence. Their spies must have found out we know about the crown, and they don't want us to have it. But they won't stand in our way. I know some of you are ex-Legion, and may know men on the other side. But remember this. They are the enemy now, and they will not hesitate to kill you. Keep your wits about you, and watch your shield brothers back. Ulfric Stormcloak is counting on us to bring him back that crown. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Follow me, quickly and quietly now. Put your guns on the ground before they even know we're here. Ah, we're gonna 
fight you. That's the way I like it. Short and bloody. They never knew what hit them. But do not make the mistake of underestimating the Legion. Plenty of them are Nords, same as us. We had the advantage of surprise this time, but things won't be so easy from here on out. Enough talk. Let's go kill some Imperials. Stay here and watch your back. Not so sure. Oh, then perhaps we should take a moment to look around a little, eh? You there, unblooded. See if you can find another way through. We'll charge in to help as soon as we hear fighting. Maybe you can find a way through somewhere above us. Somewhere to get through on the level of storm clouds. Hurry, find them. First.
before. No, and I'm not sure I'm better off for it now, neither. Steady. A few dusty bone walkers aren't going to stop us any more than the Imperials could. We are not leaving until we get what we came for. Now let's keep moving. Stories must be getting close now. Wow, I've heard it's of impressive. this. impressive. They say these walls show the history of the ancients who built this place. Too bad we can't read these carvings. Who knows what secrets we'd uncover? One thing at a time. We are here for the crown. Any of these carvings show a crown? Hmm. Looks like this is as far as the Imperial. Even if one of these pictures tells us where the crown is, I'm betting we're going to have to find a way through that door. See what you... Mm. That looks like some kind of claw from a statue. I wonder what it's used for. Thing open. 
open. Going on, blooded. You find anything yet? Keep looking on, blooded. There's got to be some way to get that thing open. must be around here somewhere. Spread out and keep your eyes open. Get to Windhelm with the crown as quick as you can. Tell Ulfric he owes me a drink.
I do the cooking and cleaning around the palace. The Stormcloaks are finding victory across the land. I'm proud we liberated Falkbreed from the Empire. In many ways, it's the heart and soul of Skyrim, not to mention its rather strategic position. We should take your march. Damn him. That old bear was right. Did you run into any trouble? The blood of our fallen heroes will make Skyrim free. Never doubt it. Also, never doubt me or Garmar. Now then, I'm glad you're here. I have a message I need delivered to the Jarl of Whiterun. Deliver this axe to Balgruff the Greater. Yes, an axe. How long have you been in Skyrim? Give the man my axe. If he keeps it, I will bide my time. If he returns it to you, it means war. <clears throat> Keep your wits about you. The Jarl of Whiterun is known for his temper. I don't like talking to someone who holds their honor so cheaply. Oh. Still here? All right, what is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. Can't do that, sorry. Still here. All right, what is it? What do you need? Okay, got it. <clears throat> 